morning, boys and girls. This is Merida, and I shoot for my own hand. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela. And have you seen the movie by Disney called Brave? Well, I am trying to be Merida today. So I've got my long, luscious red hair on. But Merida in the movie was just an itsy bitsy bitsy bit younger than me. So we're gonna have to picture Merida with a much younger face than this. But this is what it's all about. It's all about having fun and being creative. So the outfits just lend to the, to the ambiance of drawing. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and grab your pencils and your paper, your markers, your crayons, your colored pencils, grab everything and let's get going. We're going to draw a picture of Merida today. All right, here we go. Now, hopefully you can see the board. I'm gonna see if we can, well, let's see if I can bring it down just a little bit so we can see it, Merida, all the way. All right, here we go. Let's start out with Merida's face. Now, she has a nice round face. She's a young girl, so her face is very, very round. So let's go ahead and draw kind of, oh, a circle, but a little bit in an egg shape. And we're gonna draw it just like that with leaving the top open. Now let's go ahead and, well, before I forget, let's give her a little ear. So we can give her an ear right there. Now we're going to give her eyes. She's going to have those same kind of football shaped eyes, but they're going to be very big fat footballs because Disney characters usually have very big expressive eyes. So let's go ahead and make a big eye right here. And notice it's kind of in the middle, but I'm going to make it a little closer to this edge. So I'm going to make it, make this one a little farther over to the side. I'm just talking in circles today. I'm not making much sense. So as you see, this eye is much closer to the edge than that one. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right, now we're gonna make the circle inside the colored part. She's gonna have blue probably. And then we're gonna make the pupil right here. All right, and let's go ahead and give her some eyebrows. We're gonna give Merida big eyebrows. Big, beautiful eyebrows. Usually we just make a line. Today we're gonna make them a little thicker. We're gonna give her a nose. Now she has a little round nose, but we don't wanna draw a big round nose and we don't wanna make the lines. So we're gonna make just little parentheses, like little C's on each side to just give the idea that there's a nose there. And we'll give two little lines so she can breathe. And then we're gonna give her a mouth, kind of like we haven't done before. We're gonna give her actual lips and then we're gonna make sure her teeth show in between. So we're gonna do the top lip and then we're just gonna go straight across. So we have our top lip. And then the bottom one, we're gonna curve in a little bit. And then we're gonna put the bigger part of her lip right there. So now we have more of a realistic kind of looking lip. Let's go ahead and give her a long neck. Just like she has a very long neck because she has this very low kind of dress. And then we're gonna give her some shoulders. Just go off gently, gently to each side. See how they're kind of curved and they gently go off. And then we'll give her the illusion of a dress right here, just the top of it. We're gonna make her wear a dress kind of like mine that has the, the border on it like this. And then now the fun part. Now we're gonna do her hair. And we just wanna have fun with it. If you watch the movie, her hair is always crazy. It's everywhere, 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 everywhere. Never tied back. So let's go ahead and we're gonna give her the hair right here. We'll give her the first part of her hair. And then we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna make big, swirls all over just to give the feeling that her hair is just big and all over the place. And let's do some more on this side. And we'll do this. Now that is a fun drawing. Now let's go ahead and do the coloring to it. I'm going to start out with her skin color. And I'm going to use kind of a lighter tan color because she lives in Scotland. And in Scotland, it's not like being in Florida where it's sunny and you're gonna get a suntan all the time. So her skin isn't gonna be really dark. But Scotland, I hear, is a very, very beautiful place to be. My son took a trip to Scotland and he loved it. He had all kinds of pictures. And you know what he did when he was in Scotland? He went and visited a whole bunch of castles. There are some beautiful, beautiful castles in Scotland that you can visit. And that sounds like such a wonderful trip. It makes me wanna, wanna take a trip to Scotland. So, has anybody been there? Anybody been to Scotland? Okay, we're almost done. We're gonna go down and get her neck. Okay, we're gonna color it all in. All right, you might have to dig in your crayon box for a skin color. All right, so we've 
got her skin down there. Now we're gonna use a pink, and we're gonna make her lips pink, but we're gonna make sure that we leave in between her, 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 her lips white so we can see her teeth. There we go. And then let's go ahead and make her eyes blue. We're gonna do a nice light blue in this part of her eye. All right, she's looking more and more like Merida all the time. But what is going to make her look really like Merida is that big red hair. So before we do that, let's go ahead and do her dress. We're going to just leave this white. We'll just pretend it's silver like this. If you have a silver crayon or something, feel free to please draw it in. But I would have to dig a little too much to try to find something silver. So we are going to go ahead and just color in the top of her dress. These big old sleeves are getting in my way. Okay. There we go. And now for the best part, her hair. Her hair is her shining glory. It is what's going to make her look like Merida. So let's go ahead and do her eyebrows first, because remember, we drew them nice and big so we could color them in today. All right. And then we'll start coloring her hair. And if you find this one hard to do, you are not alone. Drawing faces are very, very hard. It was one of the hardest things for me to learn to do. But you know what? Once I learn, that's my favorite thing to do now is to draw faces. I love painting faces especially. All right, there's her big red hair. Now she, we are coloring it orange even though we call it red hair. I'm probably not sure what the reason is there. But we're just going to make it a little sloppy on the end because we are just trying to get it done here for you so you can see what it looks like. All right, one side done. Now let's go to the other side of her hair. And do you know what? I have two friends, two friends, two, that are princesses. And they both own businesses, and they go around to birthday parties, and they do events and all that kind of stuff, and they have all different princesses. Now, one of them, my one friend's name is Joanna, and Joanna runs a place called the Professional Singing Princess, and she used to work at Disney. Can you believe it? Would that be an awesome job to do, to go to Disney every day and sing and entertain people? And then my other friend's name is Emma, and she has a business called a storybook party. And she has all, she just has princesses that go everywhere, all different princesses, anything you can imagine, even boys, even the superheroes come to hers. So I can recommend both, both of those businesses very highly. So if you're ever looking for a princess, that's where you want to look. Okay, you know what? I wonder why they haven't hired me. Hmm, I'm going to have to talk to both of those ladies very soon. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we are done with our picture of Merida. I would like to see yours and see how well you did. Remember, drawing faces are very hard, so do not get discouraged. If you don't like it, flip your paper over and try it again. Now, I will see you tomorrow, and I'm going to tell you what I tell you every day. You could say it better than me, I'm sure. You're going to stay safe. You're going to wash your hands, listen to your parents, Stay creative. That's really important to me. Staying creative and be kind, everyone. Be, say something nice to somebody today. Make their day. All right, everyone, stay happy, be safe, and be kind. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.